Hi folks, welcome back! Finally, another traditional painting video! Hooray! This is this year's present for my mom for Mother's Day. And in case you are wondering, it's okay. She has a healthy habit of staying away from the internet whenever she can. So, there is little chance that she will see this before I can hand over the original to her. Speaking of which, painting this and recording this painfully reminded me of how lazy I've become and how I just don't really have the patience for traditional art anymore these days. I mean, I still keep it up, because I like the look of these ink paintings a lot. I also think that original traditional paintings are much cooler presents than printouts of digital art. I mean, if you have the chance to actually hand over the original to your gift at least, but usually in case of your parents you have. So, I sure as hell won't give up on traditional painting, don't get me wrong, but it's an exception if I do it, and I do it on special occasions, like Mother's Day, or commissions of course, but it's a luxury. Why, you ask? Well, you see, the recorded video material here runs for roughly an hour. That's not much. You could say, hey, wow, you painted this so fast, surely it's less trouble than digital art? Well, wrong. It took me all afternoon and way into the evening to paint this. What you can't see on the video is hours spent on, for example, waiting for the paint to dry. It doesn't take long, but it does take a minute or so, or even several minutes if it's larger, very wet areas that need to dry. It's too little time to do something meaningful in the meantime. You can eat a chocolate bar or something, but you also can't just go on right away. You also can't see how I texted my best friend, whether she'd be so kind and drive me to the store where I get my supplies, cheaper than via the internet too. My best friend lives in another city, but she's still faster at the store than I am because she's got a car and I don't. You also can't see um, how I'm cleaning the brushes or rescuing the sponge or these brushes for my cats. You also can't see me going to the copy shop and having my line art printed on watercolor paper, so I can actually start painting. I know most people draw directly on the watercolor paper, but I really hate doing that for a number of reasons that I will gl gladly list for you if you want, but if you can just accept that opinion right away, I'd be grateful. In short, traditional art is a real hustle. I'm not saying that to discourage anyone to do traditional art, on the contrary, I love it. I love people doing it. I just want everyone to be aware how much of a hassle it is. So please understand if I don't do it every day or even every week, unless I have a very good reason or somebody pays me to do it, okay? Cool. So that's my unhelpful art advice for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint anyway and I hope to see you back for more process videos in the future. See you and have a great day!